You authorize pounds here. Let's clear GT HX3 challenge mode with low rarity and Ifrit. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna bring in two vanguards here, Fang and Vanilla. On the bottom side, have them attack the same tile. And next up, we're gonna need some blocks here. We're gonna get some DP from Vanilla, and we're gonna block starting from the top. We're gonna block the blue box up top, and then we're gonna need another block to make sure the path is sealed off and have everyone run into bang. Okay. Next up, we're gonna need some more blocks here. So we're gonna bring in a defender. We can bring in a beagle. Costs uh, a little bit less, although we want uh, Cora later on. All right. So we're gonna get some DP here. We're gonna give Vanilla. Now we have some uh, enemies from the left side, so we should block here, but instead we're gonna use Lava, which is gonna be a little bit awkward now because they're gonna be coming into Vanilla. And uh, while we wait for the blocks or for DP, we're gonna have to take out Vanilla and then we can block. So we lose Vanilla there, but uh, Lava can clash this out, no problem. Beagle, she's gonna have uh, some uh, some enemies on her there for a while, but uh, Lava here will do the job. We're gonna bring in uh, our medic there, Gavil, to start healing Beagle up. And look at that, Lava MVP. All right, so we need to put in one more block, but uh, we're just gonna get Ifrit right now. So we could block the middle there. But that's 15 DP. I would like to have Ifrit out by now. So we're just gonna go ahead and boom, bring in Ifrit, flamethrower of destruction. Loot had burned them to a crisp. But it's not it's not over yet. We have to finish the setup here. Boom, block in the middle, have them all go and run uh, the long way and get the the full length of uh, Ifrit's uh, Anger there, and um, oh yeah, we have a uh, Ethan as well. So we're gonna bring him in there, make them even, make it even more painful for them. And here we go, heavy defender lieutenant. What can this big boy do? Also, we have Moose as well. All right, so let's uh, do the setup here. We're gonna have uh, Cora and Gumi instead of Beagle and Fang. Got our defensive lineup there. What else do we have? Uh, we have Melantha here, w which we can put uh, near Korra there. Probably should have brought in someone like Midnight, so they can actually shoot the boss. But uh, we, we do have Ethan skill here, Lava skill, and Ifrit, so... And, uh, of course, we throw Moose on top of the boss there, as soon as they hit Korra, and she can hit him for free. So that's already... A ton of damage that we can dish out just a midnight in the back there you know with some more R's damage would have been a uh, real nice Melanta she's like yeah with Ifrit there with Ethan lava Melanta is not gonna get any action here she's just maybe you could have put her next to Ethan or something at least there she could uh, yeah in fact there she could be uh, she could be a little bit more useful but Korra, I guess if we pushed Korra one tile, then Melantha would be able to, to hit. Anyway, here comes Big Bob. Uh, we do have Shirayuki as well. So we can put her up top. And uh, she'll start charging that skill. Um, let's see. I guess if we had an extra healer, we could have Shirayuki put there earlier on. And have a healer to heal her up and then remove the healer. And then she would have her skill charge here and then she would boom go on big bob okay so the boss goes on Korra, and that's the signal to throw down our moose on top of him start dishing out that damage and melantha of course bystander observing the massacre and down it goes so that's uh, that that setup is just they they just want you to use Ifrit there, basically. So there you go. Ifrit can do the job, of course. 
All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this clear. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one and take care.